Hi everyone, welcome to Casa de Meos. Today we have a quick project for you that we completed this past weekend. And what it is is the replacement of the ballast in our garage lights. Now for those of you that have garages or are familiar with these lights, it's the little square box inside the uh, light fixture that helps turn on your lights. When these ballasts burn out, sometimes we don't even realize it. We believe it's a problem with the light bulbs, but it turns out to be the ballast, which was the situation in our case. But we have a secondary problem to that, and that problem was that the wires on the new ballast did not match the wires that we had on the old ballast. As you can see here, we had four blue wires and four red wires on our previous ballast, and the new one has two blue wires, two red wires, and two yellow wires. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we solved that problem and how we ended up installing the ballast in our garage. So far, I guess we did okay because we're still here and we haven't burned down the garage just yet. Here we have a couple of the tools that we ended up using and some supplies. First, I have a voltage tester. Then we have some wire connectors. I have both the wire twist and the push connectors some wire cutters and wire strips, some pliers, a screwdriver, flathead or phillips depending on what you need. We also have a drill with the phillips head bit and we can't forget the ballast which is this one right here. The ballast is a GE Proline series T12. It's 120 volts. We're gonna open up the box and figure out these wires in order to install it. When comparing these two ballasts, we're able to see that the wires just do not match. So a little bit of a headache there for me, but we're going to follow the diagram on a new one and hope that we're able to install these correctly. So as we can see, flipping the light switch on runs power to both of the lights. One of them is working since the ballast has been replaced there. So now we're going to start the replacement of the new ballast. But first things first, we're going to double check that we don't get shots, so we're going to cut the power off to the lights from both the light switch and the breaker box itself. In our breaker box, we ended up having two switches that were controlling the garage, so just to be safe, we got rid of both of them. After that, we checked with the voltage tester just to make sure, and uh, we're good to go from there. In comparison to the current wiring setup, uh, the black and white wire which run the power match and they're coming out at the same side which is good for us here. Now the wiring for the lighting themselves, one of the bulbs is blue on both ends and the other bulb is red on both ends. So for now we're going to run the first two blue wires to the blue bulb and we're going to run the two red wires to the red bulb. From there we're going to take the yellow wires and we're going to run them to the opposite end and that's where the mismatch happens. So we're going to follow the diagram as best we can and splice them off at the opposite end. First, we're going to remove the ballast from the fixture. So I ended up using this attachment for the drill bit. Once it's removed, we're going to disconnect all the wiring and set up the new one in place. So for now we've got the black and red wire removed from the main power source coming from the ceiling and the blue and red wires as you can see here these we could run straight through into these connections there but I'm not going to do that today I'm just going to cut the wire and splice it here but that is another option you could do is just run the wire straight that way that way you don't have a lot of connections on this end. But like I said, in our case, we're just going to splice it. So we're going to complete the removal by cutting all the wires from the ballast and replacing it with the new one in place. Once the new ballast is set, we'll start reconnecting all the wires and we'll focus on the yellow wires of the opposite end.
to recap, we have the ballast set in place. We have the black and white wires connected to the main power source. We have red with red, blue with blue. And now we're going to take these yellow wires, pull them off to the side over here, and we're going to make a connection on the opposite end. So as we can see here on the diagram, the each of the lamps here has two connections, a right and a left. So the yellow wires are coming and connecting to both lamps. So one yellow wire comes down and it connects to the right side of the blue and the right side of the red. And same thing with the other wire, it connects to the left side of the red and the left side of the blue. So we're going to do that right now. For the connections on this side, I ended up using the push connectors. It's a little bit easier to work with. Here I am connecting the first yellow wire to the right side of the blue and the right side of the red. I'm going to go ahead and tuck it back in there, make it look nicer. And we're going to take the second yellow wire and we're going to connect that to the left side of the blue and the left side of the red. And here's a close up of it. So here we are. We have right blue, right red, yellow wire left blue, left red, second yellow wire. Again, I don't know if this matters or not, or if I could have connected a left red with the right blue or vice versa, but I'm following the diagram as best as I could. So next we're gonna tuck these back in, up into the fixture, and get the fixture back up. There you have it, that's the light fixture with the replaced ballast. That's how we ended up solving the issue with the mismatch wiring on both of our ballasts which are now working. Next thing we did was try to recycle as much wire as we could. We went ahead and salvaged what we had left over and what we had on the ballast and save them for other projects in the future. If you found this video helpful don't forget to press the like button down below as it will help us out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future videos like this. Thank you for watching. Till next time.